Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Sax Academy and in today's lesson we're going to be doing a blue scale workout. We're going to be starting with really simple phrases and they're going to gradually get harder and harder. By the end we're going to be introducing some other notes that aren't in the blue scale as well so you can see how you can use those to bring out different colours. Okay, first of all, down in the description below, there's a link to the free PDF and backing track that accompanies today's lesson with the full workout written out with the note names for both alto and tenor sax. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future lessons. So in today's workout, we're gonna be using the G blue scale for alto saxophones and the C blue scale for tenor saxophones. The structure of this workout is gonna be slightly different than the previous workouts we've done with the major scale and the minor pentatonic. Those are also linked in the description below. In today's workout, it's more of a phrase-based approach instead of using patterns. We're gonna have a two measure phrase and then there's gonna be two measures with just the backing track. Now in that two measure space when you're getting started, I would just repeat that phrase again by yourself. Later on, you can use that two measure space to play a variation on that phrase or like a counter phrase. So you're starting to improvise with that phrase and you're taking ideas from the set phrase and create something a bit different in that space. We're gonna start with a warm up where we go up the scale in quarter notes for one octave. We then come down the scale in quarter notes for one octave and then we come up and down with eighth notes. And that's just to make sure you know the notes that are inside this scale. We're then gonna be doing two phrases starting on each note of the scale. First of all, we're not gonna be using anything faster than quarter notes and eighth notes. Then for the intermediate section, we're gonna be starting to use some 16th notes as well. And for the advanced section, we're then gonna be starting to introduce notes that aren't in the blues scale. We'll still be starting a phrase from each note of the blues scale, but we're gonna be including things like the major third, the major sixth, the ninth. And you can see how those degrees of the scale are used to bring out different flavors from within the blues scale. Of course, as ever, you can use YouTube's playback speed settings to slow the whole thing down at first and then you can gradually speed it back up. You can also use this workout more as an ear training exercise where instead of reading the individual phrases, you can look away from the screen and listen to the phrase and then try and play it back by ear. And this is gonna help really help build a strong connection between what you're hearing and what you can play. You can also use those backing tracks available below in the description to start to improvise more generally over this groove and start to take out certain phrases that you like and start to incorporate them in your own playing. Now some tunes that you can try some of these phrases out on, you can try some more groove based songs like Mercy 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 and Chameleon, or just like a 12 bar blues in concert B flat. I've also put some timestamps down below for the beginner section, intermediate and advanced, as it's gonna be one continuous track, but if there's a particular version you want to work on, you can skip straight to that. All right, so here's that blue scale workout.
Okay, that's it for this week guys if you enjoyed that video and you find those resources useful you can now uh, buy me a coffee there's a link to that down below and your support is very much appreciated let me know in the comments how you got on with this one it's always really great to hear from you guys uh, don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next week